Robokia to Aeromobile. Here are six cars that are real-life Transformers. Robokia, the white Autobot from Asia. Kia Motors Corporation is a South Korean car brand. Known for their affordable and capable sports utility vehicles, or SUVs, the company has caught the Transformers craze and built an actual transforming car. Displayed in a Kia car show in South Korea, Robokia is an SUV that can transform into an Autobot. With blinking headlights and indicators, the SUV transforms itself into a giant robot amid clouds of smoke. The final transformation resembles early Diaclone robots themed after the Transformers. Despite transforming quite slowly, it is an impressive sight to behold. Latrons In Ankara, Turkey, a team of engineers have created a remote-controlled, transforming car. The engineers are from a company known as Latrons and have developed a car that drives and transforms as well. The car does not have room for a driver or a passenger. However, it is remote-controlled and can drive before transforming at the push of a button. After transforming into a giant humanoid, the Latron's robot can move its head, fingers, and arms too. A dozen engineers worked over a period of eight months to adapt a BMW sports car into this transforming masterpiece. How to never get stuck in traffic again? None of us enjoy traffic at all. We wish our cars could simply transform into planes and fly over the others to get us to our destinations. Well, now you can, sort of. To promote their plug-and-play vehicle navigation assistance device known as HUM, Vink Moto modified a Jeep Cherokee such that it extends its wheels on all sides and increases its traction height by over 6 feet such that it can simply drive right over other cars. The car was displayed in a promotional video for the HUM device. Not only is it impressive, it brings to mind the Transformers from the movies. While the cinematic robots fight aliens to save Earth, the HUM Transformer beats traffic every day for you. Don't let a little water stop you. Normally, cars are supposed to go on roads and boats on water. However, Gibbs has changed this rule by creating a car that can go on road and on water whenever required. The Gibbs Aquata is the world's first high-speed amphibian, or HSA. The boat car can reach speeds of 100 miles per hour on the road and 30 miles per hour on water. Great handling is maintained on both surfaces while the powerful engine is strong enough to tow a water ski. The car functions fully and is available for sale today. Interestingly, billionaire Sir Richard Branson piloted an Aquata across the English Channel and broke the previous amphibious car record. Wet Nelly Our obsessions with cars that can transform into water machines goes on with Britain's own Wet Nelly. This is a nickname given to the Lotus Enterprise S1 submersible car that James Bond piloted. The car featured in 1977's The Spy Who Loved Me. Sporty and heavily armed, the car could easily transform from a road-going machine into a submarine. With fins emerging from its wheel wells and submarine controls on the instrument panel, Wet Nelly is a transformer fit for the depths. Elon Musk, the billionaire founder of Tesla Motors, recently bought Wet Nelly for $1 million. Conquer the roads and the skies too. In the Transformers movies, we see planes that are able to transform into robots. Well, now we have cars that are able to transform into planes. While many concepts have been released, the Aeromobile takes the cake. Featuring a supercar body, the car plane has extendable wings that can launch it from road to skies in minutes. Its official reveal video has been released and manufacturers say that it will be ready for mass production very soon. The car plane has a top speed of 124 miles per hour and can take off and land on an airstrip only 164 feet long. The age of flying cars is upon us. Which real life transformer car do you like the most? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.